gorgeous spiky scrumptious delicious scoopy you welcome to your love tarot reading this is going to be for you and your person my baby whatever that means to you situationship relationship bumble date marriage all right somebody wants to reunite with you boo boo straight away Straight away, you were to them. They want some kind of reunion with you, baby. Somebody misses you. They're coming towards you. If there is distance, oh my God, my hair. <laughs> oh my God, never mind, delete. <laughs> if there's distance between you and the person right now, somebody wants to breach this distance. I think someone is uh, far away from you right now, baby, scoop you. Okay, there's someone far away from you. Um, they're living far away from you, okay? I, I think it's more than just like emotional distance. I think I'm reading for a rift. <laughs> Sorry, let me, I'm, this hair is going to drive me crazy. I'm, I'm reading for a rift or separation here between two people where there's more than just emotional distance. Like you didn't just break up, this person remained in, in the same town. Maybe they're in the same big city, different neighborhood. But I feel like they're far, far away. Someone's coming back at you. Someone's manifesting this back into life. Let's see. So um, for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please uh, show me my darling angels, them and their person, whatever that means to Scorpio, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so chaotic, Scorpio. I'm so sorry, baby. Also, Scorpio, if you are a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusper, I got your number, baby. All right. Uh, happy birthday. I love my Sagittarius's. I'm a Scorpio Sun and Rising, by the way, if you don't remember, if, or if you're new to the channel, I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. This is Scorpio Central, my baby Scorpio, Scorpio Central. Um, also, Scorpio, if you uh, are a returning blue angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, I see you, baby, give me a kiss, and if you're new, welcome. And uh, Scorpio, just a quick announcement. So, um, you know, I like to listen to music when I do your readings. It really helps me to channel information. And uh, very graciously, my sister Gondora Official, my magical little baby Scorpion queen, has allowed me to use her music in the video. So you'll be hearing some, you know, little birds and bees and beautiful vibrational music. Uh, she actually, um, maybe one day she can come on my channel and explain to us how she does the music work because it's very interesting. I think she is very much in inspired by the goddess. I think she channels um, a vibrational healing of music from a very, very ancient tradition. So, but I don't want to speak on it. I'm going to let her speak on it. But if you're interesting, interested in her music and her tarot readings and her channel, uh, Gandora is going to be uh, in the pinned comment below. All right, boom, boom. So yeah, my, why am I in my hair looking? It was looking so good and now it's looking crazy. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I did change my halo. I've been a good girl. All right, daddy, I've been good. All right. I No, I did not say that. All all right, baby. Anyways, uh, three of cups. Okay. So your person is hoping to see you again. This is how they're feeling about the situation. Why are they celebrating already though? I don't like this situation, Scorpio. Your douche flute. All right. Douche flute test. Anyone in between? Someone effed things up with you and now they're already like congratulating themselves because they think they're going to come back in with a gift, with an apology. For some reason, this person, see, that was that chariot coming straight at you. Reunion. This person has a one-track mind. They're like, I'm going to win back the Scorpion no matter what. And for some reason, they're like congratulating themselves. They're like, pat on the back. This is such a great plan. The Scorpio will not say no. <laughs> Cross watcher. I mean, welcome to the dark side. I mean, you can tell yourself this is going to happen, but I mean, Scorpio is kind of on a different vibration. Anyways, uh, but Bill, Aww. You call this person out on something, you know, the story of Scorpion's, the Scorpion's life, you know, this is the arc of, this is the Scorpion uh, hero arc. Um, you called them out on some bullshit and they were like, no, Scorpion, you're wrong. There's no bullshit in my life. They're full of bullshit. All right. And, you know, it was just and right that you should have done that. Let's see what, the, what you called them out on. Uh, you, you know, uh, seven of wands and seven of uh, chalices. It was like someone who denied, denied, denied. If it was a new uh, a bimbo, himbo, anyone between in your life, you met on Tinder on a Tuesday, you kind of, this person tried to blind you, you know, to some of their little misdeeds. What was this they were lying about? It's not so much lying, but denial, denial, denial. Uh, okay. Hmm, really? So you were dealing with someone, Scorpio, who uh, tried to put you in a situation of a kind of like dating, but not 100% committed. They wanted to be single, but in a relationship, the Scorpion is wise to that immediately. Okay, we are the FBI 
zodiacs they were like <laughs> welcome to the fbi hq you are lying something was not quite kosher about this person not kosher not halal not vegetarian sugar free there's something not right here um a nine of pentacles you know it was like this person wanted to keep their independence they were like telling you they want a relationship or like they want something super serious very early on but then their behavior was like yeah but they weren't doing stuff with you they weren't messaging you in the morning to say hello scrumptious scrippy are you still scrumptious this morning they just weren't like you know doing the relationship -y things and it's because this person is kind of weird you know it's um you're dealing with a bit of a, a a wild person maybe you know a bit of a lone wolf this person has been maybe single for a long time and by the time they met you they didn't really know how to do uh the the the, the relationship thing you know but they got really defensive about it they were like no scorpio why are you so crazy you're making it up but it, it, everything that you told them that you thought was like not okay with them was correct if it was a more long-term connection there was a lot of fighting misunderstandings gaslighting and i don't like what your person was doing here because i feel like your person uh or maybe it was you because you got fed up but somebody was uh pushing a connection whether it was dating or marriage whatever living together somebody was pushing that connection into the territory of uh emotional blackmail so someone was saying like well i want a divorce if you do this and this i'm gonna leave <laughs> you know it was just like very like toxic and maybe this person made you feel alone. Uh, I feel like the theme here, the theme here today is my hair is trash. All right, the theme here is, um, actually I just need to adjust my halo, that's what I need to do. Uh, the theme here is that um, somebody made you feel single even though you were in a relationship with this person. That's not how the Scorpion works, cross watcher, let me tell you, all right. Scorpio, when we love, when we're in a little, we don't do anything by halves. Like you're either like in a drowning in the waters of my love or you're like out by. <laughs> like it, it's got to be one or the other. And the Scorpio was wise to the fact that somebody was like trying not to dive into the deep waters of love. You know, they're trying to shortchange you emotionally. Scorpio needs a lot of emotional connection. This person didn't know how to give it. Aw, but Bill, give me one second, baby. I'm sorry, Scorpio. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened. It's just my technology keeps failing and I keep blaming it on the dead people here, like the dead spirits, that I, the spirits of the dead that I work with, uh, but let's face it, it's probably just me. All right, anyways, um, typical Scorpio blames it on dead people. All right, Bipu. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's just someone, you know, someone who made you feel like you were alone in that relationship and Scorpio, you called this person out emotionally on their bullshit and they didn't like it and this ended, you know, they pushed, somebody pushed you away, this is what I feel like, someone pushed you away and they just kept denying, they didn't, they didn't want to be like, you know, beautifully, deeply connected and it really bothered you, you got the three of wands here, the this person sees you, they think you got their back turned to them, they think you're over it, they think you're looking at your new horizons, you're like, let's see what else is out there, baby, all right. What other horse can I ride? What <laughs> what other pot bellied stallion? I okay, whatever. Um not saying anyone's pot bellied here. I am. All right, my stallion is okay. The nine of uh pentacles here is telling me this person. See, this came up already, so that was the issue between you. This person's intention, see, this is the issue with this person. It's almost like this person doesn't even know how to love the way that Scorpio needs to be loved. It's like somebody wanted to put you in a little cage. It's like you know, whether it's a bimbo himbo or an established connection, this person wanted, they wanted to go through the motions. You know, they wanted to feed you. They just wanted to, you know, I'm getting the energy of somebody just, they just want to sit the script you here. And like now, you know, I'm going to feed you. I'm going to take care of you in this little cage. But there's just no like emotional involvement, you know, like, and you're, you know, it's going to be like that, but it's going to be very material, you know, uh, physical. Scorpio needs more than the physical. We love the physical. We rule the physical, but we need more than that. And this person just like didn't know how to um, basically address emotional needs. They knew how to address very like materialistic needs. So be careful because they're going to try and do it again. I think if this person has money, it could be someone who's quite moneyed, someone who is very well to do, and they're trying to make a trophy out of you, but Bill. Uh, the seven of, of pentacles here, this person is going to be asking for a reassessment of the situation. It's a very slow moving energy though, Scorpio. Who are you dealing with? This is such a slow mover, but they're already celebrating. It's so stupid because it's like, I really don't, I'm not sure if this person, look, cross watcher, don't get annoyed because energies can switch, but I'm kind of like, thinking mission impossible like what is this person even thinking maybe they're just like maybe i don't know scorpio you do that to people maybe you drove someone so insane that they're just like blah 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 insane they're like yeah everything's fine total denial yeah queen of swords so someone's going to communicate but see this is you scorpio you're like 
Mm, talk to the sword. All right, talk to the hand. Bye. I think you're still over this. This person doesn't get it. They just don't get, like, they're so far removed from that Scorpio deep, emotional, soulful Scorpio energy. They really don't know how to do this for you. You know, they don't know how to, not so much please you, but they, they just don't have the key to the Scorpionic heart. Let's get some advice for you. What should you do, boo, boo In the next seven hours, seven days, seven weeks, someone will be reaching out to say, let's reassess the situation, Scorpio. <laughs> they have some kind of a plan. They're going to give you a gift. They're going to reassess the situation. Can I put you back in your gilded cage, my baby? If it's not, if, if it, I look, it doesn't have to be a rich person. Maybe they're like a bit of a, um, maybe they're rich but cheap, whatever it is. This is just a symbol of like how they see it, you know? They put you in a little, put you in a little box, you know? Like, you know, sit, sit there, Scorpio, and like, you know, be, look pretty, look handsome, be, you know, like just, I don't know. It's just not, not very deep. This is not a deep person. Try not to be deep. Okay, let's see. Please show me in Charles. What is the advice for my baby Scorpio? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but <laughs> the sneeze says it all. It's like allergic to bullshit. All right, baby. You got, so this, this guy just like, he was just like peeping out. So I took him because it's the devil. Shout out to Gondor for sure, the devil's here. All right, so we're not scared of the devil here. The devil's a good energy for Scorpio. So it's like, you know, the devil is like, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, baby. You know, are you holding on to this person? And maybe, <clears throat> I can tell you're over it. But you might be tempted by the devil. You know, it's like, are you... <coughs> One second. Oh, boo-boo. That sneeze really got to me. Your person got to me, boo-boo. This devil is saying, <coughs> you're kind of over it, Scorpio. But when the temptation comes, you know, are you kind of holding on to it a little bit? You're a little bit nostalgic for this naughty boo-boo. Oh, my gosh, Scorpio. Oh, I'm not getting sick again. Are you nostalgic for this little boo-boo? <coughs> Sorry, baby. I think I went down the wrong hole. Mm, story of my love life. <laughs> Comedy's free. One second. What the heck was that? I think I need to do some banishing in my life because there might be some negative energies around. I mean, there always are as long as I have my <coughs> ex-boyfriends. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. So, boo boo. But this devil, it is about like, you know, uh, I think you're over it. You know, you know you're over it. You know this person is like, this is mission impossible. But at the same time, I feel like you're holding on to something here a little bit. You know, maybe a sentiment, some sentimentality, some nostalgia. You know, <coughs> as Scorpios do find it really hard to let something go. So, you know, maybe, wow, this is like me getting sick like in real time. <laughs> what ha What the heck is this? <coughs> So this is about, you know, knowing whether whether you want to re re allow the resurrection of this, or if you want to let it go. Is this about holding on to something that's worthy of holding on to, or is this about, or is this devil about? Be careful, Scorpio, <coughs> because this person is coming in. Um, <clears throat> this person is coming in with, um, you know, um. The same bullshit. The same bullshit you called them out for and they're coming in with the same bullshit. Are they coming in as some kind of a distraction, as temptation that you should be avoiding? Oh my God, this is like so funny. The devil came through. I'm losing my voice like all of a sudden. <coughs> this is so weird. It's like kind of a spiritual attack. I rebuke that, Bibi. If it is anything like that, I'm sending it back 10 times over, Bibi. Okay, uh, the, uh, the, um, and doing that for you too, baby. Because maybe someone, you know, maybe that person has bad intentions for my Scorpion. Don't mess with the Scorpios, Bibi. I'm just telling you that. I got all my Scorpios backs. We're co-manifesting here. The Ace of Swords is about a new beginning. So it's either a new beginning with this person. Is it worth it? Or a new beginning all by yourself. Let me pull another card. This is such a weird, wow, what a weird reading today. I almost want, like, and I'm not into that kind of thing. Like, I don't, I'm not really, like, I don't propagate those. People should not be scared of those things. Because it's just, like, it always backfires if someone sends that through. But I'm always, like, I'm hearing the word spiritual attack. And it's not to say it's on me, but it's maybe coming through in the, in, in the energy of the reading. Like, it's almost like, for some of you, maybe this person... 
at some point had some kind of a bad intention, you know, or they came spiritually with a bad intention, or maybe baby Scorpio, just, you know, bear this in mind. You could be with some, because I feel like this person loves you, you know, they're, they're like coming towards you, coming uh, to get you, but it's almost like, yeah, this person loves you, but maybe this person is like spiritual attack is what I'm hearing. So it's almost like, is this person a bad person basically, you know, is, is the spiritual attack about like an onslaught onto your life? Is this person, you know, they were like neglectful emotionally of you, but I don't, I don't think they were bad to you. You know, they took care of you. You know, I just feel, see someone like, you know, this is such a, this is a crazy reading. Oh, only the Scorpio would get a reading like this. I see someone like, almost like petting you, like, like little, like, you know, my little canary, my little darling, you know, but it's like in the material, they feed you, they take care of you, they give you little coins, but it's like, but it's not like a deep connection in the sense of the emotional, but to, to the person, that's all they know. And it's almost like the spiritual attack is about this person, just their presence is a spiritual attack because they, they're not a good person. They could be a very bad person who does bad things to people. Maybe they're like a cutthroat business person or something like that, you know, in their life. But but with you, like, you know, you thought maybe that they were very dark or like they were not very nice to you because the script you needs like, you know, and Blue Angels here, you know, we're uh, at least striving to live our lives with love and light. And this person isn't like that. This person is not about that at all. So it, it could be that some of you, this is why that message is coming through. This is why I had the little <coughs> coughing fit is because, you know, this person is actually evil. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. So what, what does the future hold and which Scorpio do? Yeah, Pipu, this is, there's something going on here with this person. There's like low-key divine counterpart energy, Queen of Swords and King of Swords, but this is going to be a struggle for you, Pipu, okay? This is a struggle, Scorpio. This, this whole situation with this person is difficult and weird. I wouldn't say like delete from database necessarily if you still, you know, want to, it's up to you, Bibi. It, it, it's all about free will on this channel. But I would say th there's a temptation here. You might be dealing with a worse person than you think. Like just as a person, as a spiritual Bibi, like as an entity in the world, I think as a human being, this person might be actually quite bad. And you don't even know because there's something you don't see about them, you know, like about how they got their success in the world or something like that. You know, there's something to this person that's quite, you know, hidden. There's a hidden little devil here, Bibi, okay? So it's almost like when this person enters a person's life, it's almost a little bit like a curse. There might be things, depths to this person you don't even know, especially if they're a new person or if they they were more established, you know, there could be things they're hiding from you, contents of their character that they're trying to hide from you, Bibi. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, this is such a crazy reading. But seven hours, seven days, so new weeks, this person will be in touch. This is what I have for you today, my darling Scorpio. I'm sorry, this got so spooky. Oh my God. All right, baby. Anyways, any negative energy around you, if anyone's like, you know, doing anything negative towards you or wishing you ill, I am sending a tenfold back to them. But uh, only scrumptiousness here on this channel, only scrumptiousness is love, only, um, you know, only, do, on, on, only, you know, think good things about people. Unless there's douche flutes, then don't think about them at all. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't, this is like escalating. I don't know what I even mean. I guess what I mean is like, don't send people bad energies ever because it always comes back to you and it's stupid. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but it's but, but I feel like with this person, it's not like that. They're on pur purpose sending the evil eye. I think they're just like, they are the evil eye. <laughs> you know, like they are like something evil about, I don't know, something evil about this person. Scorpio always gets these dark energies. Let me know in the comments below. This is your story, my baby. Um, also, if you vibe with my channel and uh, you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all of the information is down below. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One more.